grant me just 60 seconds to vent. Because, you see, I'm in our New York studios, and um, I ran into my buddy, Frank Isola. Frank Isola, for those of you who don't know, used to write for the New York Daily News, doing an outstanding job covering the Knicks for about 16, 17 years. He's now at The Athletic. He's obviously a contributor to ESPN on shows like Around the Horn, PTI as a subs, et cetera, et cetera. Love Frank. Frank and I go back a long ways. But every time I see Frank, Frank is one of the people in this world that I like to see the least, even though I love him. Because every time I see him, I can't help but think about the Knicks. And when I think about the Knicks, it, 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 it does things to me. The Brooklyn Nets beat the New York Knicks yesterday. Score doesn't matter. It was the fourth victory of the season that the Brooklyn Nets have won without Kyrie Irving. The New York Knicks have four victories on the entire season. I'm going to repeat that. The Brooklyn Nets have as many victories without Kyrie Irving that the New York Knicks have, period. The New York Knicks want to tell you that we didn't commit long-term and we'll have room and we'll be in position to go after marquee folks, and I agree with that. My question is, Tell me what marquee free agent would give the New York Knicks a sniff right now. Who would do it? And last but not least, this is where I can't absolve anybody. I watched a couple of games. Listen, Marcus Morris can play. Julius Randle is no scrub. I think he needs to be a bit ambidextrous, but he's no scrub. He could play. I believe that the New York Knicks have an abundance of people that can play and can actually contribute to winning teams. But when you put them together, it doesn't mesh. Ladies and gentlemen, Marcus Morris has been a a, a foe in his entire career. We're watching him bringing the ball up the court and calling plays sometimes. I watched Julius Randle pick up, bring the ball up the court and call plays. And he's one-handed. How the hell does that make sense? It doesn't. So once again, I can understand Steve Mills and Scott Perry and their complaints towards David Fisdale. I can understand others who have complaints about Steve Mills and Scott Perry. My only issue with them was saying it in a press conference in the immediate aftermath of a loss to the Cleveland Cavaliers at Madison Square Garden as opposed to talking to James Dolan privately. That was my only issue. But it's a mess. And you're losing with guys that ain't going to probably be here next year. What are the Knicks building? What are they building? I see the Nets, what they're building. We know that Kevin Durant coming back is a light at the end of the tunnel. We know that Kyrie getting uninjured is a light at the end of the tunnel. And we're watching them win games without Kyrie and Kevin Durant, which means they'll only be better when those two get there. What do the New York Knicks have? I'm growing depressed. I'm growing very, very, very depressed. I'm just going to leave it at that because I want to be nice. I actually got love for Steve Mills and Scott Perry. I really do. Nobody's rooting for them harder than me. But I am so sick and tired of seeing the Knicks be the Knicks. It's depressing. I mean, can you at least wait until after the holidays to stink? For once? 
Does our holidays always have to be compromised? Do we always have to rely on a Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade? Or the bright lights at Rockefeller Center around Christmas time to have a reason to be festive? I mean, damn! Damn! Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.